They're doing anything we're doing the same. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are right here today to share you some great tips that will help you to move to your next level. Um, my name is Katie Rebu. I'm an international public speaker. I'm a coach and I'm a consultant. I'm also the host of Kate O's show on YouTube. And I have frequent Facebook Live on my Facebook page, Kate O's show, Irebu. And my colleague here is Nick Ronald, with 25 years of experience, is an author, we are both authors, is a communication expert, is an international public speaker, and is my business partner as well. We are the host of Empower to Fulfill Your Potential and Key to Unlock Your Potential. This is these two great events we launched this year to help many who are out there, confused, doing a job they hate, living a life that is below what they want, struggling, frustrated, making the statistic of the world population who fail to fill their potential, fulfill their potential to be so huge, 92%, which is alarming. In fact, it's just too much. So this is what we have come together to do to help people to live the life that they truly deserve. So thank you for watching. And we believe that this is going to impact you positively so you can move to your next level and live the life that you truly deserve. Thank you for watching. Continue. So Nick, this is a very good idea. Do you know this idea is something that is not out there? Yes, Kate. You know, I think um, I think I think this is I'm surprised because this is such a massive problem. Um, there's a uh, recent Time to Talk Day, which is a national UK day to recognise uh, like mental health problems in in the workplace, mm -hmm. um, and. Yeah. It, it happened last last uh, month, and it, basically, it's a big statistic that came out was that four out of five people in Absolutely. work are, are anxious <laughs> or, or they're stressed. You know, so they're they're, they're stressed in a job or not in the right job, and um, I think it's quite you know it's obviously quite a, quite worrying. You know, so um, a lot of people are looking for opportunities. They they feel they're not realising the potential. They're not sure what they do or how to do it, um, mm. and they don't you know. They don't know what to, what uh, haven't got can't get the right advice or can't get the right support. So um, I think there's definitely people are struggling. Yeah. People are struggling. truly struggling. And the thing again is this: when people are struggling, they know something is not right. What do you think that actually stop people for telling themselves that truth and you know to look for opportunity and to move on? You know to you know to a positive uh, direction. Because I was in a coaching section and there's this you know lady. Who knew that this job that she's doing, she hates the job. She hated it, but she was just in that job just for money. But she had the potential to do more, to even get more money. So is it fear, you think? Are they afraid? Are people afraid? Kate, I'll tell you what, I think that it comes down to people fear change. People, mm -hmm. you know, even if um, you, you, know, you know that your situation isn't the right one you know so you might be in your job and you've been doing a long time and you know that it's not right for you anymore you know that you're not getting satisfied it's it's, it's not you're not progressing but people 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 have security and, and comfort in what, they, what they're used to doing so with myself i was made redundant three times and um i i've been doing this, this basically this, the same the same job and they it was exactly the same in different companies and uh, I wasn't really that fulfilled. When I got the third time being very redundant, I thought, oh, wait a sec, you know, this is a bit of a sign, you know. Um, so I decided to, to, to make that change, you know, and um, take more control. But I think sometimes, yeah, people are very, people are very comfort, comfort, even if they know it's not the right situation, there's a lot of comfort in doing what you've always done. Mm -hmm. and, um, and change is hard, you know. People, humans find it hard, you know. So there's a, um, there's, there's a, there's a certain, way of of, of um, planning and, ma and managing your change it makes it easier but um, I think it's yeah people fear change so um, and it's something we can help with you know so this video today we're going to be helping those of you who are working but you're not happy with your job you need to be honest to yourself because one thing I advise people is not to lie to yourself because that's one of the biggest mistakes that you could make excuses could be very cheap but the consequences 
can be very, very expensive. That's why I advise you not to lie to yourself. So for you who know you are in, the, in a job, but you are not happy, we are here to help you. For someone who is struggling in life generally, maybe you're looking after you know, a sick family member, or your child is ill and is not letting you to really go out there to do what you truly want to do, we are here to help you. Because right in the comfort of your home, you'll be able to do something that will make you fulfilled as well. So there's no excuses, guys, no excuses. For someone out there, who have gone through maybe redundancy as well uh, as myself and Nick Ronald who have for my for mine is contract they tell you the contract for three months before you know it the end maybe two months and you have actually planned your life for three months job you know sometimes you even have another interview to attend but you know what temporary job is all about you when you don't work you don't get paid so you don't even want to go for any other job you want to actually wait to finish the three months and if you do a good job they might even keep you there that's the that is what I was doing for a while. And I was rotating around the circle. And one thing you must not do, do not do the same thing and expect different results because that was the biggest mistake I've made in my life. I was doing the same thing and I was expecting different results. You can't do that. You need to know that this is not for me. This is this where I'm going, you know, is not the way I should go because when you receive things like that coming your way, it's God helping you. It's the employers helping you, knowing that you are too good for what you're doing, knowing that there is more out there for you. That is the time you need to go back and actually look inward, because that's what I did. It gave me the time to look inward, actually you know what I love to do, what I'm passionate about. You know, can you, Let me tell you this, guys. Do you know the question I asked myself that actually gave me a turning, was a turning point for me? I was looking for this job, and I asked myself, if you get this job, Kate, and this is the salary that this job is advertised for, right? And I'm happy and I'm applying for the job. And I ask myself, if the salary is multiplied three times and you're offered this job and they will increase the salary three times, triple it, would that actually make you a happy person, Kate? And do you know the answer? I was honest to myself. I said, no. Can you imagine that, Nick? The job I was looking for, looking forward to, you know, to have, even one I had before, I didn't even attend, I didn't even resume in that one. And I'm looking, and I ask myself, honest, honest question. If we multiply the salary times three, it would not make me happy, Nick. And I was still going for such a job. Can you imagine how many people there who are enslaving themselves in a job? When you're doing a job you're not happy with, and you're just staying in there. I'm not saying have a job and you're working towards your dream, fulfilling your potential, looking for strategies and opportunities like this, like this event we're having. It's not a bad thing. But when you stay in a job and you know what you're doing is not what you like, and you're just in there not making any effort, do you know what you're doing? You are just killing your dream. You're killing your potential. And, that, and you are one of the reasons why 92% of the world population fail to fulfill their potential. That is why we have people who are unhappy out there. That's why we have children who are unhappy. Because the truth is this. If unhappy parents come together to raise children, they will raise unhappy children, guys. We need to be happy. You need to be fulfilled. Stop pretending. Stop deceiving yourself. Some, stop going to the office and say, oh, let me just stay because this manager will be a favor. Listen, there's no one that will take you and put you where you're supposed to be. You are the one that know yourself. I want you from this video, as listening to us, for you to take the driver's seat of your life. Do not use your challenges as a racket, you know, to stay in your comfort zone. It's not going to help you guys. We've been there. We've been there, I've experienced that myself. And when I look back, I said, God, kid, how did you do this? I know what I love to do is to help people, to support people, to guide people to their success, to fulfillment. That's what I love doing, that's what I've been doing. But I thought that was Kate's uh, everyday life to be nice to friends, to nice to family, helping people. But Kate is a graduate. She read microbiology, first BSc, second BSc in microbiology and ma marketing and business administration. So she's have to work as a scientist. And that is a lie I was telling myself for so many years. So now we are here to help you. Are you frustrated in your job? Don't be frustrated, guys. Is your manager no value? Stop blaming your manager, guys. <laughs> because that's one thing we do is blame the manager. Oh, the manager don't like me. Oh, everything I'm doing, he still don't want me. <laughs> you see the video I watched, I, said, I shared with Nick. The guy who came to work, well-dressed, happy, he's been putting all his best in that job. He's been there for about six years, he mentioned. 
And they said to him, listen, we are dealing on number. The guy didn't understand what the, you know, the guy was telling him in the office when he called him in. He said to him, you are leaving. We're, get, we're getting rid of you. And he was like, what? He said, that's what it is. He walked away. But one thing he did, I like. He drove back one day. Nice, flashy car. He saw the car. Wow. And he was really smiling. Shook the same person who asked him to leave. He shook his hand and told him. The guy was amazed. Like, oh, where have you, what have you been doing? He said, yes. When I left, I had to start my own company. And, you know, this is where I am now. And really, thank you so much for actually asking me to leave. Can you imagine that? So this is the opportunity, that was the opportunity he needed. But at that moment, it, it felt as if it was a bad news, isn't it, Nick? Yeah. No, it felt I mean, as if it was a bad news. Did you watch the video? Did you I watch did, it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think sometimes you're right, you know, what can seem like bad news can turn out, can, can be the best thing that you need because it can give you that little push. You Absolutely. Know, in your comfort zone um, and, and push you into taking action to, to make a change that you need to do. Um, Absolutely. So I was really impressed with the guy, you know, so this is yeah. what we need because oftentimes we want to stay in our comfort zone. We feel, oh, this job, we know this job already, the salary we know, even when they know that they stay in that job for another hundred years, if you're going to live hundred years on earth and they're not going to get to retirement age, that the job is not actually going to make them fulfilled, but people will still stay in it. You know what I mean? Mm. There was a day I saw one of my managers. Who said to me he's retired? He's, in, he's turning sixty, and he said he's retired, and he's ca- he's coming back to work because his retirement money is not meeting up his expenses. I'm like, what? And he's the interim manager. I'm like, what? This one is the person at the top ceiling. Wow. He's not he's still happy at retirement. I was yeah. when I'm ret- at my retirement age. I don't want to be working because I want money. I want to be w- impacting lives. I just want to yeah. live, my, you know, be serving, you know, doing what I still love doing. You know, I just, I told some of my children, I said, I'm not going to retire. What I'm going to do is to slow down my pace. As I got older, I'll still do what I'm doing. I'll just reduce my, you know, slow down pace as I go older. But I'm not going to retire because I love what I'm doing. But yeah. I, I was so shocked. I was so shocked, honestly, Nick. I think, so I think you said you over that. to the communication yeah. expert, the guru, I call him, as I call him. I mean, I think, I think Kate said it there, but it doesn't matter what you do in life as long as you do, do it with passion. So, you know, why is it that some street cleaners are really happy and you get millionaires who are like um, totally unhappy and, you know, they've got all the money and all their lavish lifestyle. And the reason is because, one, um, you've got to celebrate all your achievements in life, whatever they are, however small. And, if, you know, if you don't, achieve, if you don't celebrate every, everything you achieve, then you're never going to be happy. And um, the other thing is doing what you do with passion. So if you're a street cleaner, but you, you actually enjoy your job, you enjoy it, then it's not like a job. But if you're, you know, if you're, you know, so it doesn't matter what you do in life. So like Kate said, you know, if she, if she could retire, but she loves what she does, then she'll carry on working, you know, because it's not, it's not like work. You know, if you enjoy it, it's not like work. Um, but, uh, you know, so I think it's so important to do in life, you know, to, to find what 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 you what makes you passionate, you know what what makes you um, excited, you know. And if your job does that, then that's great. But if your job stops giving that, then you you know you need to look at other ways of doing that, you know. So, it, um, and you know, I think the, the important thing is, you know, should we find change so hard, Kate? You know, everyone oh, does. No. <laughs> and even if they are not sure, even if they are not sure of what that thing is, we can help them. We can help you figure it out. Yeah, you know, that's you're not sure. You know what you're doing is not what you should, you should be doing, but you don't even have an idea. Come, let's help yeah. you. Yeah, and I agree. I mean, there's, it's not unusual to be, you know, I've spoken to people like friends who have said, oh, I, you know, I don't know what to do. I'm not happy in my job. I need to change, but I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what else I can do. And um, there, there is a, a, a process that we can talk, we'll talk about, or talk about the event of where you basically really, look at all your options you look at what you're what you're passionate about what your why you know why do you do things in life why do you you know and, and decide on your your um first of all your your big vision and then you pin it down you know what do you what do you want you know what do you want to achieve what makes you happy and then what do you need to do to get there it's all about wants and needs and there's a you know there's a, there's a process for doing that and that's yeah it's that's something we you know we can show you know so that 
maybe you've just got an idea. But if you, you know, with, with events we run, you know, you just come with that vague idea, but you'll leave with a clear plan, you know, and it's all about Absolutely. getting it. Um, sometimes people really say, oh, I'm going to do this. There's someone I have on my contact been telling me, I gave him an idea about over a year ago. And he kept telling me, oh, that's a good idea. I would do it. Do you know, he only did it this month, no, last month or early this month. That's when he did it. But you told these people, come on our program. Come on, coach you. Why, would, look, why do you think people like to settle for less, Nick? Why do people like to settle for less? I think that... Um... People are, um, again, it's about comfort zone. So people are um, fearful of trying things they're not, you know, not sure about. So, you know, if it's, um, you know, if it's doing a, a course or, you know, something, if someone, we need, we need sort of people to uh, confirm that it's good. You know, nowadays we need lots of social proof. So maybe if a friend's, you know, recommended something, we're more likely to do it. Um, but, you know, doing a, a, a coach or an event, they're not sure about people, people are, you know, people are unsure. Um, people need to feel that they, you know, they're going to get value, and they're going to, and often they feel that they need to someone they know to give them that that uh, confirmation that it's a good thing to do. Yes, we're not so doing this just to... because of money. We're not just doing it because we want money. We want results. We want to see results. We want you to move from where you are to where you want to be. That's why I encourage you. To, we have a silver ticket, which is only thirty pounds. But we have a VIP ticket. Whereas when you leave the event, we're going to work with you continuously. We're going to give you coaching, give access to webinars to so meet your specific need. This is what I'm born to do. I'm so passionate to help you. We're passionate about this. We're not just doing an event to give you, you know, for you to come pay us money and you go. No, we want to follow you up. We want to make sure you become that person that you truly want to be. That is what I want to do. That is what I'm born to do. And now I find what I'm passionate about, what I'm born to do. I'm so excited. And I also want to help you to find out what is it that you were born to do. What's your calling? Papa Winfrey said, when you're writing your CV, don't just write a CV of where you, you know, of what you have been or what you are, you know. Also write where you want to be. So that when you fall, when you crumble, that will help you to stand up. That's powerful. I think it's really important. People should actually understand why they have come to this earth to live. Because sometimes I believe people think they're going to be here forever. You see what I mean? No one is going to be on this planet earth forever. So why you're here is important. You impact your world. Don't just come here and just be the type that you just, you know, want to look, watch people. You know, I like I said to my cousin, don't come on my page and just be someone who don't want to participate. You just want to watch. Some people are afraid to make mistakes. What are people going to say? Listen, the worst thing is for you not to try. The worst thing is for you not to do anything. Because if you do nothing, you get nothing. Okay? And if you do the same thing, you get the same result. So that's what we're telling you today. If you've been doing the same thing all these years, or from January, now we are in November, you're still not getting the outcome that you truly deserve then you know you need to make a change, guy. You don't need to be told. Because that's the difference. And when you meet opportunity, another thing I find out that's so common, Nick, when people who don't have successful mindset, when they, when they see an opportunity, they can't sense it quickly. They can't sense it. And I think that yeah. is very serious, something that is very important in life. When you sense an opportunity, you should grab it. Yeah, there's been some uh, research where um, some of the most successful people are people who um, make decisions quickly. Absolutely, so they and they stick to it. Yeah. Because by that, that um, means that they grab opportunity. That's and it. people who um, don't you know, put off making decisions are people who don't tend to be as happy, don't tend to progress in their career. Mm. So and, and I read, um, I read uh, the book um, by Richard Branson recently, mm. and in it he was saying that everyone mm. thinks, you know, always being successful and they've only seen the successes he's had, but they haven't um, realized how many companies have failed he's, he's managed, how many businesses have failed. Mm -hmm. But, but um, the, the important thing he said was that um, you don't stop trying. You know, like you said, Kate, you know, yes. that if it doesn't work, you try something else. If it doesn't work, try something else. And if, if you don't keep moving forward, you're moving backwards. You know, you've got to be, if you're not active, you're passive. Things will affect, if you're not affecting the world, the world will affect you. And you know, life has a habit of going shooting fast. So you gotta, you gotta, you know, you know, because seize every opportunity. Thing, come, come to think of it, for successful, when they make decision, they stick to it. But for 
for someone with that unsuccessful mindset, it takes them time to make that decision. Even when they make that decision, they change it quickly as well. So if you're doing the same thing, it just makes you go around the circle. It doesn't, and, when you, and when you do nothing, you become like a stagnant water. And after a while, you stink. You know, you even hate yourself. So don't keep yourself in a situation where you don't even love who you. Some people want to be like someone else. You see, they say, oh, I wish I was this person. Oh, I wish I was. Don't wish to be someone else. Yeah. You can bring the better you. You can be a better, you, the better version of you is inside of you. All you need is to give us opportunity to help you to bring that out. That's all you need. Don't wish to be like Oprah. Don't wish to be like uh, Kate Middleton. Don't wish to be like anyone. There is the better version of you. You have not given yourself time to look inward, to actually tell yourself the truth. But if you are struggling with that, that's why we're inviting you to this amazing transformative event that is life-changing, guys. This event, you're not going to be getting it this quick in London because we're, we're going all over the world. So now that we are hosting it here, take advantage of this. Take opportunity. When something starts, don't say, oh, I don't want to be part of it now because when it gets more expensive, it will be, you know, less people will be able to afford it. And this is not what we want. We want, because then we'll be having, you know, people will be struggling for seats. You see what I mean? So now it's time for you to book your seat. And it's taking place on the 24th of November at the Columbia Hotel in central London at Lancaster Gate. We have a silver ticket for you now. So there's no excuse that you couldn't buy the, the VIP ticket. We have a silver ticket for you, for you to come and you will get ebook. You get an ebook that will teach you in that ebook, apart from telling you, teaching you in the, in the, on the, at the event, you go with it. So you walk, you go with my strategy that I used to handle adversity, that gave, that, you know, led to ultimate triumph. You're going to learn those skills there. Okay. So we're going to help you no matter how much you have. If you're on minimum wage, if you're on, in, on job seeker, I've been on it. So don't think, oh, these people, how did they get here? No, they are not our level. Don't think, don't look down on yourself. I've been through it all. I told someone, I was speaking to, so I said, listen, circumstances in life have made me calm down. And you know what I did? Instead of me to crumble and fake, some people will fall down, put their head down. People, some people will say, no, don't fall face down, face up so you can actually lift up, yeah? But you know what I did when I fell down? I, fi I really fixed my, put my feet on the ground, very firm, right? I didn't just only look up, but I made sure I positioned my feet on the floor, so firm on the ground with so much energy and pressure. And when I lift up, lifted myself up, I lifted myself up with everything within me. That is what I'm telling you, we can do for you. Don't take, you know, your challenges as excuses to keep you where you are. There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing that can stop you from being who you want to be. All that you needed to move to your next level, you have it already. You just need someone to help you to figure that out. I met a lady, this lady I've told me about, several issues that she's struggling with. She said, oh, she needs help. Oh, kids, God gave, brought you my way. But she don't want to take action. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think, um, yeah, just uh, just to echo what Kate said. So our our, our um, event, we had um, the the VIP tickets, but to open it up to try and encourage more people to come. And okay. so, but basically, like Kate said, money is an issue. We've we've um, started a new um, silver ticket, which is basically only thirty pounds, so that everyone can come. Did you hear that, guys? It's thirty pound only. Just thirty pounds. You can come all day from ten till four six speakers sharing expert knowledge you get an ebook of kate's book triumph adversity and my book secret influence all about how to persuade and communicate power um and it's only 30 pounds also, also anyone can afford that you know that's it's you know it's a it's a, it's a meal it's a lunch lunch in a in a in a, in a cafe um but uh, we also have a premium vip package as well so there's something for everyone you know whatever you're looking to get out of it We've, we've got a sort of tick off if you're there and also just to add that um as a way of, of learning and improving yourself one of the best ways is something called modeling so if you want to be um a change and work in the fashion industry you go and look at someone who's really successful in fashion and you and you look at how they are doing it how do they achieve their success what do they do and you basically copy it and so if you want to be um, a really successful writer, you look, you find a successful author and you say, how do they, you speak to them, say, how do they write their book? How do they plan it? So the way to achieve success in any area is to model people who've already done it. 
But like, like Kate said, that's not changing yourself. You're just, you're not being someone different. What you're doing is you're, you're adding, uh, building on yourself and you're improving yourself, adding skills um, to your belt. You're making it a better version of yourself. But essentially, you're just learning from the experts. So on our day, 24th November, we've got six experts who are going to do exactly that. That's you know, it. if you're struggling with um, motivation, you know, and getting yourself focused, we've got motivational speakers. If you want to, um, you know, you need to improve your finances. You know, you need to improve your, your, your wealth, you know, and you don't know how to go about it. We've got a wealth expert who's going to show you his tips for doing that. You know, we've got a project manager, myself talking about how to communicate and influence better. So, you know, all the skills you need, you know, to model yourself and learn in these key areas, you'll be learning it. And that's whether you'll buy the silver ticket or the VIP. Both of those will be there. Thank you. So that's it, guys. You have to make decision. You need to move yourself forward. Don't stay in your comfort zone. Don't say, oh, because my mother, you know, uh, didn't make it in business, so I can't. I can't even try. Listen to me, guys. Oprah Winfrey's mother was a maid. Her grandmother was also a maid. So it doesn't matter, okay? Don't look. At, don't, don't let you allow your limiting belief to put you, you know, where you are. Okay, you can move ahead. You can you can leave that spot and forge ahead. Don't be afraid of change and don't fear to fail because fear of failure is a big problem. It will help stop you from even trying. Okay, you have to. Want, there's something you should understand in life. There's no such thing as failure except you actually choose that position. Because when you fail in something, it's be either because you didn't have enough experience in it before you started, that's one reason why you fail in something. Or there's another reason why you can fail at something or probably needed more skill or that was not something that was actually your own goal. You were pursuing someone else's goal. Those are some of the reasons that make people fail when they take ventures. So, but the good thing is this, when you fail at something, the difference between a successful person and unsuccessful person is this. They take advantage of the experience they've learned from it. So that is key. When you fail at anything, don't get frustrated. There's something you have learned from that. I said that to a friend years ago. He came to me and said, Kate, all these guys in Lagos are all you know, users. Yeah? She, can't get, she can't date anybody in Lagos anymore. She wants to get married, but all the men in Lagos, they're just using girls. I said to her, I said, I called her name, I said, Efe, she said yes. I said, in this Lagos that you're saying all the men here are users, do you realize that every Saturday in this Lagos, there's a wedding taking place? And she actually looked at me and she said, you are right. She said, yes, it's true. There's wedding every weekend. I said, then why do you now feel that it's only the users, the men who uses, you know, girls and dumb there that you're going to be meeting, that you've concluded that you're not going to date anyone in Lagos? You see what I mean? That's what I've been saying. That This is what I've been doing all my life. Even when I didn't know, you know, I was coaching. I was doing it all. And, and you know, she got married that year and she got married in Lagos. You see what I mean? She got married in that Lagos that she's saying she don't want to date anyone because they are all users. She got her husband in that Lagos. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're saying to you here, guys. Don't use excuses to put yourself where you are not. Your mindset, we're going to help you when you come to that event. We're going to help you to build the right mindset because your mindset is powerful. How you see things, your, mean, your, your beliefs, how you perceive things, you know, your environment, what you see, when you see opportunity, how do you perceive it? You, when you change all that, then you can know that you can truly be that person that you truly deserve. But if you're living in your old self, you are living in your past, and you're thinking that with prayer or with fasting or with anything, anything is going to change, it's not going to change. I'm really looking forward to actually help people in the church as well. Because as a Christian, I meet Christians all the time, and they're actually missing it. They think, oh, God has to do this for them. This has to happen without them making no move. They don't want to change anything. They just believe in fasting and praying and things will change. That is the lie, the biggest lie you have told yourself in your entire life. So this is true. This is my true, true story. I'm telling you, this is what we are going to do. We want to you know, honestly help you, but you have to make the decision. You need to be prepared to do the work. We're here to help you to achieve that best out of you because there's a better version of you. Don't wish to be someone else. Be yourself. Look at Nick Rona. It's Nick Rona and I'm Kate. I don't want to be like Nick. Nick don't want to be like me. All we want is to get a better version of ourselves. That's what we're doing. And we are getting there every day, every day, getting better every day. Why can't you do the same? We can help you to do 
do the same. Oh, yeah, I, I totally agree. I mean, you know, we're in, we're so bad at comparing ourselves generally. You know, we all, and I think that's so fatal. You know, to to you know, sometimes we think, oh, I should be like that. I wish I could be like. Why can't I be like that? Um, and I think it's one of these things we we say sh we, I should have, I could have, I would have. There's three words we should ban. Never say should have. Never say mm. could have. You know, whatever you haven't done, forget about it. Whatever you think you should have done, you know, you're your own person. You create your own destiny. You know, so, um, mm -hmm. you know, like like Kate said, you know, you could think, oh, there's no no partners, there's no weddings, but there are other places. It's all about perception. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, the first thing you've got to do is just stop comparing yourself. You know, you've got to think. And stay positive. Yeah, people are so negative. You no, know, and it's um. It's just having the two best the two best things that will make anything happen in your life is being passionate for change, being ready and driven, excited and passionate. Absolutely. And do. Those two things together. If you know what you want to do and you're passionate and excited, then then change will happen. You and you're ready to take maximum action. You know, yeah. Then that's it. That's it. That's all you need. And you'll be smiling. And you'll be telling Kate and Nick, thank you so much for inviting us, inviting me to your event. That's what we want to hear. We don't, we are not one of those people who let you come for an event and you walk away and you remain the same way. No, come on our programs. And my website is www.triumphinthemeatsofadversity.com. And Nick Ronald, Nick, give your website. Uh, so my website is uh, my name, nickronald.com. Um, I've got a YouTube channel called Secret Influence and um, a Secret Influence Facebook page. Um, so I share my top tips um, for um, influencing persuasion, communicating better on on, uh, on my YouTube channel, Facebook. So yeah, check it out. Drop me a question. I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, like Kate said, you know, we're really passionate about what we do. We've been doing it for a long time. And the best feedback, the best thing we can get is for someone to say to us wow you know you, you made a real difference you know i you know i you know thank you you know you you know i really you know taking my life forward you really helped me and obviously you know it's good for us because you know if if, if we've um if if our, if our person we work is happy and we're happy then we, you know word of mouth marketing so you know we, we want people we work with to be um pleased with our with our help and and to work with them because then they'll tell other people and they'll come to us and we'll help them and we'll, so it's good, you know, it's good for us to, to for, you know, it's, it's good for us to, to for, we don't tease here's a one-off mm -mm. business, you know, that we, they, you pay us, we help you and you go, you know, so we're passionate, you know, we've got the knowledge and experience, but we're also generally passionate, you know. We, and we also work. they have to be aware that key to unlock your potential is not an event you see every day or every month. We're not going to have another key to unlock your potential until, Sometime in May, isn't it? That's May, I think next one, yeah, funny. Yeah, so we're going to have Empower to fulfill your potential in February, but why are you delaying your destiny? Don't delay. You know, time is of essence. You know, make, you know, make your move quickly and get to where you want to get to. As I say to people, there's no one that is here forever. While you are still alive, breathing, take, you know, take charge of your life. Move yourself and be in the driver's seat of your life, guys. Don't don't go and be in the passenger seat and allow someone else to be driving you around. You be in the driver's seat of your life. When you take that position, then you will understand what we are talking about. You will know that life can be sweet because we want you to be happy. When you are in charge, just like me, I give myself goals. I set goals for myself and I meet it up. I don't sleep. I don't I don't say, oh, it's because of that. When I was writing my book, I went through challenges as well. My laptop was giving, had a new laptop, was just giving some signs, doing some you know funny stuff. I sent it for repairs. Okay, while it's on repair, let me do some write-up on the book. You know, it's not going to be long. Couple of days, it will be back. It came back with even more problem, guys. For some of you, you will say, oh my God, maybe it's not my time to write this book. Oh, I'm, I'm tired. I don't want to do this. And everything, when I sent it back again, I had to now buy a new laptop. If you see what I've written so far, it was huge. For me to type down the computer, it was taking a long time. I, t I would have finished my book maybe two months back. But I said, okay, since it's like that, I would type. I look for strategy ways, you know, that I could do it faster. I had to read it. Since I can read faster, but not type, I read it as an audio, put my earpiece on, you know, I'm listening to it and I'm typing. I became faster doing that. That is what you should be doing in life. Don't give up.
Because for some of you out there, the thing that has kept you where you are is because you give up so easily. Now, the good news, that same book that was, you know, that gave those, got those challenges that made me to stay in, in, in early chapters for so long, now I finished my chapters. All the chapters, one, two, two, ten, I finished my book. You see what I mean? So we're going to teach you how to handle adversity. When challenges come, it's not something for you to crumble about. If you have the key strategy to handle your challenges, because I think that's another thing that really, you know, keep people in one spot. When they have challenges and like when difficult, when adversity hit them, they just, you know, say, oh my God, I have to just sort this one out first. And they stay there for one year, two years, three years. Nick, you can't believe what people are saying. They think they own this life. How do you say you want problem to finish before you can be the person you want to be? Human beings, we are prone to adversity. Challenges, we always come. <laughs> Jim Rohn said, don't pray, it will be easier. You should pray for more wisdom. Ask for more skills. The fact that January is being turned over on your calendar, does that stop January from being January? No. We're in November now. Go to your house now, Nick. Look at your calendar and turn November the other way and bring it to December. Is that going to move the month from November to December? No, absolutely no. So people need to face reality in life. Stop telling yourself lies. You know, be honest to yourself and take charge of your life, guys. It is possible. It's not about your heritage. It's not about who your father was. Oprah Winfrey's mother was using sack to make socks for her. They were so poor that even the poor called them poor. But look at Oprah Winfrey, where she is today. A billionaire, richest woman in the world. You can be the same. Don't think, oh, to look, to be successful, is to pursue money, is to pursue your passion. Pursue what you love to do. And money will come. That's what Oprah did. Oprah didn't pursue big job. She pursued, she followed her passion. When her passion, what she was good at doing, was not good enough for the uh, company she was working for, she decided to work for herself. Do you know how many people told her for Winfrey that she wasn't going to succeed in her talk show? Guys, please, guys, come on, come, come on our program. Come. If your life does not transform, right? If you do what we ask you to do and work with us, I will refund you your money. Nick, I mean it. Because this is something that I'm so passionate about. God has blessed me with, even before I started training myself as a coach. This is what I've been doing. Do you know how many people? There's a lady who told me her spouse she's been with for 10 years. I've told that she's, he's not doing again. They're, they're, they're calling it a day. They have a 10 year old baby already. But they said, he said the man said no more. I, I spoke to both of them and they chose a date and they've done their wedding. Okay, there's a, um, there's a great quote I love about, by Einstein. Um, okay. And he said that the definition, in his opinion, of a, of a crazy person is someone who complains about life, but mm -hmm. um, carries on doing the same thing every single day. So his, he said, it's it. crazy. You know, basically yeah. complaining, but you keep doing the same thing. So it, it's insanity, never, if, of course. Change what you're doing. You, never, you can't complain, you know. And okay. so... Um, you know, here we're, you know, we're saying, try, you know, try out, yeah, try out what we're offering. You know, we, um, like you say, you know, if, if you really find a no value, we'll refund your money, you know. Absolutely. Um, That's one thing people don't understand. When people are honest with them, wanting to help them, they think, oh, no, I can figure it out. You've been figuring it out for how many years? What have you achieved? Nothing. So guys, we're not pushing you. We're not, I'm not, we're not pushing you, but we really want to see you a better version of you because we want to actually see people fulfill their potential. That is the thing we want to see. And we're not only going to help just you, we want to help as many people who are prepared to fulfill their potential because that is what we want to see. We want to leave this world a better place. Okay, we want to leave a better place. People are frustrated out there. We don't want to see that frustration anymore. You know, I've worked, talked to people, I've been in customer service, I talk to people a lot, and I know many people are not happy what they're doing. And now we are ready to help you. Don't stay in your comfort zone, guys. Don't use your challenges as a racket and stay in your comfort zone. 2018 is coming to an end in less than two months now. So guys, don't end this year the same way you started it. Nothing's going to change. You need to do something different. Jim Brown said, if you don't like where you are staying, change. If you don't like your job, change. You need to change yourself. You say, when you want change in any aspect of your life, the first thing you must do is for you to change. And that's what I did. I changed my mindset. I changed what my decisions. I was doing the same thing and explaining different reasons. And I said, Kate, what's the matter with you? You know, as my children would say when they were little, they say, 
cuckoo. Yes, I wasn't cuckoo. That's what you're saying there, brother. Yeah, because when you're doing the same thing and you're expecting change, it wouldn't come, guys. It'll make you walk down. That's what make people get stressed. Don't do that to yourself, okay? So thank you, guys. We're reminding you for this event. It's on the 24th of November at the Four Star Hotel, Columbia Hotel. Go and check it out. We'll bring you to a nice environment, giving you what you need to go to your next level. And it's from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. prompt. And we've created um, silver tickets. Don't say it's money that stopped you because now we've created silver ticket and it's just 30 pounds only. We're going to feed you, give you lunch for free. We're going to give you ebook. You ask yourself. We're going to bring four speakers plus two of us, that's six speakers. From 30 pounds that you're going to pay, do you think, honestly think that we've made a profit from that? You answer, we want to help you guys. That's why we created this ticket because some of you have not been able to purchase the VIP ticket and we've created this one so you can come and be a better person. When parents are not happy, the children are not happy too. You see what I mean? So you need to be happy, you need to be fulfilled. All right, and while you are working towards your fulfillment, try to be happy where you are, but don't be in your comfort zone. Don't take it as a permanent place. Thank you. Yeah, just uh, just to say, yeah, add mine before we go. But um, there's, yeah, there's no excuse for going. We've got two packages available. We've got like a premium package with um, the higher price, which has got um, lots of extras, including some coaching one to one. But we've also got a silver ticket, which we're releasing now. And it's discounted so already, Nick. It's only thirty pounds. The premium pounds. ticket is discounted to it's only, less than half. Yeah. It's only thirty pounds, and you can attend all day. So you'll get the benefits of listening to six expert speakers. You can come with an idea and you'll leave the plan. There's three things you need in life to do anything. You need the right tool set, the right mindset, and the right skill set. And you'll learn all those three things. You'll leave with a tool set, a skill set, and a, and a right mindset. You know, nice. So you leave, you have a plan, and the next day afterwards you can implement it. You can make that step forward. You know, and if you want to come and you want to upgrade, they can upgrade. Yeah? If they want to upgrade after they get, they can upgrade if they want to. We give you all the information, you can go. If you want to come up, want us to be your coach, you can also come on our coaching package as well. You can either ask Nick to coach you, or you ask myself to coach you, any of the coaches that will be there on that day. So we have opportunities for you, guys. So guys, we're going to leave you now. Anything else you want to say, Nick, before we go? My last words are, um, I hope you've learned something today. You know, we've both been sharing a few tips as well as talking about the event. So I hope you've learned a couple of things at least. Um, and at our, at our next webinar, our next, uh, our, our next online thing, we'll be sharing some more tips. Every time we come online and give it a webinar, we'll be sharing some tips, adding some value. Hopefully, you know, you'll find something useful. Um, and like, like Kate said, we've both got our online channel on Facebook and YouTube where we share. And guys, knowledge. subscribe, subscribe to our channel. Nick Ronald and Kate Osho. Yeah, the two yeah, YouTube channels. Yeah. Subscribe, guys. Check it out on Facebook or, um, yeah, Kate Osho and Secret um, Influence on YouTube. Yeah. And if you've got any questions about the event or anything we're talking about, get in touch, you know. Give us a message on Facebook or, or drop me an email, hello, nickronald.com, and we'll respond. You know, if you've got a question um, about the event or anything else we talked about, yeah, get in touch. We're, we're happy to talk. Happy to Just repeat the email address, hello at nickrona.com, okay? Guys, send us an email. And you can check our website out to know who we are. My website is www.triumphinthemeetsofadversity.com <laughs> and nickronad is nickronad.com. So check us out. We are genuine people, honest people who want to help you. Thank you for watching and bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Bye. <laughs> And I love you guys as always. Bye-bye.